Immunization programs are launched for the protection of children from life-threatening conditions which are preventable. Through this presentation, we have illustrated some of the largest immunization programs in the country which have contributed towards the benefit of public health to a large extent. First, let's take a look at some of the immunization program in India in brief. In 1978, expanded program of immunization was introduced after smallpox eradication and covers immunization of BCG, DPT, OPV, Typhoid. It, is, it was limited mainly to urban areas. In 1985, Universal Immunization Program was introduced and was expanded to entire country. Measles was also added to this program. In 1990, Vitamin A supplementation was launched. In 1992, Child Survival and Safe Motherhood program was introduced. Polio National Immunization Days were in 1995. Reproductive and Child Health program was launched in 1997. RCH2 and the National Rural Health Mission was carried out in 2005. Now let's study some of the major immunization programs. First, let's take a look at Expanded Program on Immunization 1974. It covered adding more disease controlling antigens to vaccination schedules, extending coverage to all corners of a country and spreading services to reach the less privileged sectors of society. Primary health concept as per 1978 states that Elma Eta declaration included immunization as one of the strategies for achieving HFA by 2000 AD. WHO named this immunization program as Expanded Program on Immunization. UNICEF in 1985 renamed it as Universal Immunization Program. Coming to the next slide, let's study about Universal Immunization Program. UIP was launched in India on November 19, 1985 originally known as Expanded Program on Immunization, was designed to protect all children of the world against six vaccine-preventable diseases. For reduction of mortality and morbidity due to six vaccine-preventable diseases. Indigenous Vaccine Production Enhanced Cold Child Establishment it involved phase implementation that includes all districts covered by 89 to 90. Monitoring and evaluation system were implemented. Main products or targets included in UIP were international or interagency consensus on strategies for the use of vaccines and immunization related tools assisting countries to achieve and maintain a minimum standard in the delivery of national immunization services to achieve self-sufficiency in vaccine production to train health personnel and to ensure district-wise monitoring immunization of pregnant women against tetanus immunization of children in their first year of life against six vaccine preventable diseases the aim was to achieve 100 percent coverage of pregnant women with two doses of tetanus and at least 85% coverage of children under one year by 1990. UIP was first taken up in 30 selected districts and catchment areas of medical colleges. A technology mission on vaccination and immunization of vulnerable population was set up to focus on all aspects of immunization activity. Now let's take a look at National Immunization Program. In this, district is treated as administrative unit. Primary health centers are the last vaccine storage points. Services are provided through 1,42,655 sub-centers to the population residing in about 6,38,588 villages. Target for immunization is to cover infant population of over 25 million and around 27 million pregnant women. Immunization services are being provided through the existing healthcare delivery system. There is no separate staff required for the program. 
पल्स पोलियो इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च इन द कंट्री इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव अंडर दिस अंडर फाइव्स आर गिवन एडिशनल ओरल पोलियो ड्रॉप्स इन डिसम्बर एंड जनवरी एवरी ईयर ऑन फिक्सड डेज एज अ रिजल्ट देर हैज़ बीन अ सिग्निफिकेंट डिक्लाइन इन द इंसिडेंस ऑफ पोलियो मेलिटिस इन इंडिया प्रिवलेंस रेट इज 3.74 per 10,000 population, which was 57 per 10,000 in 1981. National immunization schedule represents the schedule of immunization for infants and pregnant women. It covers routine schedule of vaccines provided free under national immunization program. Next is national. leprosy eradication program which is a centrally sponsored health scheme of the ministry of health and family welfare by government of india now let's take a look at milestones in national leprosy eradication program in 1955 national leprosy control program was launched multi drug therapy was introduced in phases in 1983 Special action plan for 209 high endemic districts in 16 states or union territories was conducted in 2012. National Leprosy Control Program was launched by Government of India in 1955 based on dapsone monotherapy. Multi-drug therapy came into wide use from 1982 after which the program was renamed as the National Leprosy Eradication Program in 1983. Strategy covered under National Leprosy Control Program was early detection through active surveillance by the trained health workers, regular treatment of cases by providing multi-drug therapy at fixed in or centers a nearby village of moderate to low endemic areas or district. intensified health education and public awareness campaigns to remove social stigma attached to the disease appropriate medical rehabilitation and leprosy ulcer care services reduce case load to one or less than 1 per 10000 population now let's take a look at national leprosy eradication phase 2 objectives It involves to achieve elimination of leprosy at national level by the end of the project to accomplish integration of leprosy services with the general health care system in the 27 low endemic states or UTs and to proceed with integration of services as rapidly as possible in the eight high endemic states Project phase 2 components are decentralization and institutional development strengthening and integration of service delivery disability care and prevention and providing information education and communication training strategy for leprosy elimination in india are decentralized integrated leprosy services through general health care system early detection and complete treatment of new leprosy cases carrying out household contact survey in detection of multi bacillary and child cases early diagnosis and prompt multi drug therapy through routine and special efforts involvement of accredited social health activists in the detection and complete treatment of leprosy cases for leprosy work strengthening of disability prevention and medical rehabilitation services information education and communication activities in the community to improve self reporting to the primary health center and redu- reduction of stigma intensive monitoring and supervision at primary health center or community health center 